Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do an unboxing and setup and some test of the um, HLG 100 light from Horticulture Lighting Group. So they uh, they sent me this. Um, this one, go ahead and take a peek in the box, and then we'll do some grow test, and I'll show you how I have the setup. Okay. Okay, so this is a uh, high efficiency, uses a white light quantum board, has 192 top end Samsung LM561C56 LEDs, produces 15,000 lumens using only 96 watts. And HOD says it's equivalent to uh, the output of a 200 watt metal halide. This will require a little bit of assembly, but it's pretty much uh, plug and play. So I'm not going to put it together right here. I'm just going to show you the contents and we'll assemble it here in just a moment. So we've got some things inside. Looks like the uh, hanging fixture and some mounting screws and nuts. And this is the board. Um, to be real careful with that. The thing I like about their designs they're very, very clean and minimal. Basically, you got the board, the power supply, power cord. This is the 3000K model. You can also get this in 4000K. This is where the uh, power plug goes into. There's the back side and the um, power supply will mount onto that and the hanging fixture attachments will go in the corners here. And this is the power supply that comes with it. So mean wheel driver, OWA90U36P1M. But this one, some of their models, you have to do um, make some of the. Uh, they send you all the, the connectors and everything, but some of these you have to do a little more assembly. These, um, you don't have to do anything really. Just plug this into the board. Into there, and then uh, and, and set up the hanging kit, and then plug it in, and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna. Um, there's a lot of light data already available for this board, but I'll just do some of my basic uh, light tests with the power meter that I have, and I'll show you how I how I have this set up over the plant. Okay, I didn't do a put together video because really it's just um, two screws that hold in this uh, driver. And, um, and these attach the hanging hooks attached to the corners. So, and this piece plugs in under here, as you can see. So I'm gonna, um, so I got this hanging up in my grid tent, and I want to use it over a um, head face setting up the the plant. Yep, I'm gonna do that here in a moment. But I'll go ahead and um, do a quick power test and um, just some quick power readings. Okay, so we're going to plug this up. So it said on the description that it pulls 95, but I'm actually getting right at 101 watts on this and 0.8483 amps. So 3000 K, so you can see it's kind of a yellowish sort of light, colored light has more red in it than blue. So it should probably help with uh, flowering and potting up. So I've got a plant that I'm gonna put under here that um, has a bunch of blooms and a few pods. So I'm hoping that this would be a good good fit for that plant for right now. So I got this set at uh, right at 24 inches above top of this lid. That's, that's the 
can't be high. Let me turn my external lights off for just a moment. Interfere with the reading. So I'm getting about 147 right there. 150. So I probably need to bring it up closer than 24 inches. So I just want to go for about four or five hundred ppfd. At about ten inches, I'm getting five hundred, a little over five hundred ppfd. So that's probably where I'll set my canopy height initially. All right, so um, let me get this set up over my plant, and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up. The uh, plant is installed. Got my light set up. And um, I've got it mounted. I decided to go with 14 inches above canopy, and that gives me around, according to my meter anyway, around 350 ppfd. That kind of gives it a little bit of an adjustment, and then it'll, I just let this grow up into it a little bit, and then I'll start raising this light up soon. So um, the pump's working good. Got two air wands in there. Um, the only difference between this and the other setup is it's getting a little more airflow, actually quite a bit more airflow, and also increase the strength of the nutrients from uh, one teaspoon per gallon to a little over two teaspoons per gallon. And it's a larger reservoir so there's more room for the roots. So yeah, and I topped this down really well too. It was all bushed out. So it'll have some, um, it'll be a little bit of, a, of an adjustment period, um, but the roots, they're getting the same nutrient solution and same type of growing setup, so there shouldn't be a, much of an adjustment as far as that side goes. Um, and be a little bit of an adjustment to the new light. So, um, so I think it's going to do really well. We'll, we'll see how it does. I'll post um, follow-up um, updates every four to six weeks, and um, we'll see how it goes. So it's the HLG 100 uh, from Horticulture Lighting Group. And I um, hope you all like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.